Well, happening right now, air quality levels continue to sink around the country from those Canadian wildfires and many outdoor activities over the last couple of days have been canceled. Metro parks, uh, the Jewish Community Center, YMCA, some local schools also deciding to wait until that air quality returns to a safer level. Our Michael Sandlin joins us now live with more. And Michael, we've been seeing this haze for the last couple of days. What made the decision for him today? Well, Jeff, multiple groups that I spoke to say it comes down to a recommendation from the EPA asking people to limit their outside time and especially avoid strenuous activities like exercise. I found two groups today who adhered to that policy, and I found one group who can't afford to stop. Practice looks a little different today for Whitmer's girls soccer team. The air has brought them and every outdoor team inside for the time being. A call the school district made while the air quality remains in the unhealthy range on the air quality index. We started looking and seeing 190, 193, and ultimately it was determined that moving inside was going to be in their best interest. The track team practiced in the weight room. The football team practiced in the hallway. Everyone found a way to still get in their training, even if the environment is a little unconventional. I, I know that football and tennis and they don't happen inside typically, but for a few days it doesn't hurt them to come in and do their workouts inside. They're not the only ones operating out of an abundance of caution. Metro Parks Toledo has shut down all of its outdoor programs for the day as well. Summer camp, we took the day off today because kids would be outside running around normally. Um, our canal boat operation is, is shut down for the day. Um, that's not strenuous for the passengers, but it is for the crew. So thinking of our staff, our volunteers, uh, and certainly our visitors. Metro Parks has now set a rule that if the haze reaches the red zone again, cancellations will continue. But not everyone is trying to avoid the haze. Football teams from Florence and Parma, Italy, are still actively preparing for their version of the Super Bowl, the Italian Bowl. With their game on Saturday, practice goes on rain, shine, or even smog. These guys are pretty resilient, so I don't think anyone's really noticed a huge difference. I think I saw I was going to clear up by the game time anyway, so I don't think anyone's really worried about that. But um, there's some tough guys anyway, so we'll be set for game day. With Hayes expected to be a problem for on and off for the rest of the summer, I asked Whitmer's principal if we could see more inside days, with her saying, never say never. And if you want to see those Italian teams play in that haze, you can catch them this Saturday at the Glass Bowl. Reporting in East Toledo, Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.